Number 25. The diameter of a zero gauge copper wire is 8.252 millimeters. Find the resistance of a one kilometer length of such wire used for power transmission. All right, so first thing is check out number 24. I went through a detailed uh, discussion of what resistance is and how it's a function of resistivity, length, and area. I'm going to run through this problem now, okay? So uh, first thing, well, not the first thing they tell us, but the first thing that pops out to me is they tell me the length, okay? So they tell me the length of this particular wire. The length of this wire here is going to be one kilometer, but you know we need that in terms of meters, so that's just simply 1,000 meters, right? So that's the length of the wire, 1,000 meters. They also tell me the diameter of the wire. Now, we have to remember that in order to calculate this, we're gonna to need to know the area, the cross-sectional area. And by the way, why am I thinking about these units, right? Well, the reason is, is because they're asking me to find the resistance. And they're telling me a length and a diameter of the cross-section, and they're telling me the nature of the material, meaning that it's copper. So I know that the formula I'm probably gonna to have to use is the resistance will equal the resistivity of the material multiplied by the length of that wire overall divided then by the cross-sectional area, which is basically analogous to the thickness, okay, of the wire. So that's why I know I need area. Now, basically, if they tell me the diameter, I can find then the radius here, right? So how do we do that? Well, if you know the diameter is 8.252, just divide it by two okay to find the radius but remember this is in millimeters so we need that in meters so just take that and multiply it by 10 to the minus 3. now this is what the radius will be okay so it's 8.252 divided by 2 multiplied then by 10 raised to the minus 3. so we get a value here for about 0 0.004126 and that's in square meters now but remember, this is the radius, not the area. Remember the area of this wire, we have to assume, by the way, that it's a circular cross-section. All right, I know it looks oval, but the reason why is because I'm trying to give you a perspective. My artistic abilities here have been highly trained now over the past, I don't know, 1,500 videos. Um, it's not gonna get any better than this, basically, is what I'm telling you. So pi r squared, all right, so remember that we need to then plug in pi and then multiply by our radius here, 0 0.004126 squared. All right, I'm not going to calculate that now, throw that into the formula. Last piece of information then, I know they tell me it's copper. I have the value of the resistivity for copper here at the bottom. That's going to be, I don't know if it has to be memorized. I probably, most likely you'll be given it. Um... And uh, if you're not, um, my sympathies, my, my complete sympathies. So you know it's ohm meter, all right? We don't have to do any conversions. By the way, also you might be saying, well, what about the zero gauge? What the heck does that have to do with it? Zero gauge, it's just an easy way of communicating the thickness of the uh, copper wire. A zero gauge copper wire correlates with, or is, this diameter, okay, in terms of its cross section. Um, you won't have to memorize that. I highly doubt that. And if you do, um, my double sympathies, my double sympathies. So we got everything we need, right? So let's just plug it in. So resistance is equal to then the resistivity of 1.72 times 10 to the minus eight multiplied by the length, which was 1000 meters, all then divided by the pi, the cross-sectional area, pi times 0 0.004126 squared. And what do we get? Let's see. All right. So 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 multiplied by 1,000 divided then by pi times 0 0.004126 squared. And there we go. So here we have a value now of about 0.322-ish. Right, if I consider rounding, 322. And that will be in terms of ohms. Ohms. I just love that word, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, sure, that's it. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If you liked the video, if we helped you out at all, just give us a little hand, hit the like button, subscribe button, telling your friends it actually does uh, mean a tremendous amount to us. It really does help our channel grow and uh, we would be forever in your debt. All right, so thank you. And uh, that will conclude this video. 
So, uh, thank you, and take care, and arrivederci, and ciao, and au revoir, and adios. And I'm going to show the limitations of my breadth of knowledge. Um, goodbye.